This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And today I'm going to fix something that as I sit here and think back about it, I do not remember ever fixing in my life. I know that I had to have, but I do not remember fixing them. I'm going to fix some roasted potatoes, but they're going to be like french fries. And I'm telling you, I really do not think... My mama did not believe in frying things. And I don't think that maybe years and years and years ago, I fried some french fries. But I've got two air fryers one has been used twice and the other one is the power pressure what is it i can't even read it oven elite power power something of an elite that i've never even hooked up to use and i've got the french fry basket for that the um rotisserie chicken thing and I've never even hooked it up I've got so much stuff that I have not used that I'm gonna be showing y'all and <laughs> by that time it's probably gonna be obsolete that's terrible I'm terrible 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 all right so these are potatoes these were the big um baking potatoes and I've just cut them. I've got some yellow peppers in here, too, because I love potatoes and onions and peppers. So this whole thing is full of bacon potatoes. I've got some sweet potatoes back there, too, that I'm going to do. But right now, these are just regular white baking potatoes that I've got the peppers in. And I've got some onions here that I'm going to put in this bowl. I'm going to drizzle them in avocado oil and season them with salt and pepper and body yuck complete. That is my new favorite seasoning. I absolutely love it. And I'm going to um, drizzle the avocado oil on here and then season it with the body up and the salt and pepper and then I'm going to I've got my oven preheated to 450 I'm going to put them on this I've got two pans in here I'm gonna put them on this little pan that's um, been I've got aluminum foil on it so let me show you what I'm going to do I'm just going to Add some avocado oil. That's probably, I was, that's probably too much, but it'll be all right. It'll be all right. All right, and then I'm going to put the, oh gosh, I, a, a tablespoon of the Badia Complete. Oh, and I just dropped the big onion. I should have known. I told y'all. If you could see under my table. When I'm doing this stuff, I have, you know, last week I did all that prepping or whatever. And I've got that to do this week, too. All right, so I'm going to put, uh, I don't know, maybe a half a teaspoon of coarse ground black pepper on here. And some salt, some kosher salt. And I should have gotten the top to these, but I didn't do it. All right, I'm going to mix these up as best I can. And I'm going to pour them on this pan. And I think I'm going to go in there and get a top and try to, or maybe I'll get a paper plate over here. Try to, I've got them in too little, little of a ball, really. But I'm just going to shake these around and get the salt and the pepper and all that on them and put them on here. Matter of fact, I can go in and do that now. And then just mix them up on here. This is just two potatoes. 
and a half of an onion and a half of a yellow bell pepper. And it's got this pan full all the way. Wow. All right, so I'm going to go on and mix them all up on here. And then I'm going to put these in the oven and I will bring y'all back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. All right, now I'm getting ready to fix my quick, quick sloppy doughs. These are not like the ones that I put on. Um, well, they kind of are, but this is just quick, quick. I've got about a pound and a half of ground chuck in here, um, a half an onion, a half of yellow bell pepper. It's done. My um, potatoes that I cut up are in the oven. They're still cooking in there. They've been cooking, well, almost an hour now, but I did cut them down because I was just doing this slow. All right, now I'm not going to really use any measurements on this. I've got Heinz tomato ketchup. I'm going to put about a half a cup of ketchup in here. And then I'm going to sling it all over the table. I'm going to put some spicy brown mustard in here. Probably two tablespoons of that. I'm going to put to about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to put, let me get this out, oh God. I'm going to put about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. This is the one with the mother. <laughs> and I'm going to put about two tablespoons of this in here. All right. I'm going to put about, <coughs> excuse me, two tablespoons of this Amore, Amore tomato paste. One, two, about two tablespoons of that. What did I do with the top? Oh, here it is. <laughs> and I'm going to put about a fourth of a cup of brown sugar in here. And then I'm going to put a half a cup of water in here. We need to put some more ketchup in here. Doesn't look like there's quite enough in here. All right, I'm going to let this sit here, I mean, sit here and saute for a minute. And then I'm going to taste it and see if there's anything else. I didn't put any salt and pepper in here. I guess I should put some of that in here. So probably, uh, not very much. Uh, about a half a teaspoon of salt and about a, come on now. And I should be putting about a half a teaspoon of pepper in here, but it's not coming out. So maybe a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. Let me taste this, see what it tastes like. Ah, very hot. Wow. Mm. That vinegar made all the difference in the world in this. This is really good. All right, it's got totally enough stuff in it 
I'm going to just let this sit here and cook for a little while and let all these flavors meld together. I'm going to get my potatoes out. I'm kind of excited about the potatoes because like I said, I I cannot remember ever making roasted potatoes. <laughs> I mean, I know that I've made like, well, I'm talking about like the french fries, like these are um, cut up like french fries. Oh my gosh, this is good. All right, I will bring y'all back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. All right, so here's my sloppy joe. This is the quick sloppy joe. This <laughs> took no time to make. The longest part was browning the hamburger, everything else. And I'm telling you, I've tasted this since it's gotten done. And it's amazing. It is amazing. Not as good as the one that I put the long one that I put in here that day, but um, not too long ago, but this one is still, it is still good. It's still better than any manwich or um, sloppy joe mix that you can buy at the store. And here's my potatoes. And, and I'm telling you, I do not remember ever fixing any like this. I have had them. But I don't remember fixing them. I mean, I guess I could be wrong. Once in a while, I'm wrong. Mm -mm. Mm. That is so good. And it's they're not real crispy, but I didn't want them real crispy. But they still have that taste in, uh, to them that, you know, as if they were brown. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. All right, I'm going to take a bite of this. This might be too big. Let me see. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. I have to have mayonnaise on my sloppy doughs. I have to. Mm. And I don't have a paper towel over here. So I got to go get me a paper towel. All right, I'm going to go on and finish this video out. This is amazing. Quick, quick. It took 40, about 45 minutes to cook these potatoes. And if I hadn't have cut them down... You probably, I mean, you probably could have done them quicker, but I kept cutting them down because I was trying to do the Sloppy Joe um, slow. <laughs> so, but if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, look below for links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and also there'll be links to things from my um, Amazon store that I use in my own kitchen. So look through that and see if there might be something that you'd like to get. And I hope you have a good night. Bye.